hello what's up guys so you just have to care once again so in this video i'll be showing you how you can upload your app with the new app testing policy that google just brought out so at the end of this video i'll also be explaining how you can get your 20 testers and also get your account approved your app approved in 14 days so now uh, let's go into the video right now watch the video to the end once again so if you're new to this youtube channel please kindly subscribe to this youtube channel because you will learn a whole lot of things about google admob uh google console and also how to make money online so now um let's go into the video right now so click on create app log into your console account you can see this is my console account here and click on create app so now the app i'm uploading is status saver status saver and click on app click on free and I save the terms and condition and wait up. If you're uploading status saver, you should just follow the same policy, same thing I'm doing. Now here you are going to come down. You can see this is the new policy. You you must have at least 20 people that will test your app for 14 days before you can publish the app. So that's the new policy so now for us to go now click on you just click on finish setting your app first this is where you come to don't do internal testing just come to finish setting your app so now here you click on set up privacy policy so you paste your privacy policy link here if you don't know how to generate privacy policy go to my channel i've already done a video now you can generate your privacy policy after that click on dashboard and come down app access if your app doesn't require people to log in um you click on uh, all functionality in my app is available without any access restriction so click on save and click on dashboard so come down again click on add the access does your app contain ads click on yes if your app does so go back so content rating, click on start questionnaire, um, and also your email address. You put your email address here. So I'm putting my email address now. All right, so. Okay, so you click on the type of app your, your stuff is. So you can click on, let me just click on this and click on next. So they ask you this question, um, does your app contain any blah, blah. So you click on no, yeah, no, 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 just no. Everything should be known. I click on save. So click on next. Come down and click on save. Now go back to dashboard. After that, click on target audience. Choose 18 over. Click on next. Um, click on yes. Or you can click on no. Anything you, you choose here. It doesn't matter. So Click on next and save. Go back to dashboard. So news app. So click on no. Your app is not a new news app. So click on save and go back to dashboard. COVID nineteen. Um. So click on no. The next step. You click on my app is not publicly available. So this last part. Click on it and save go back to dashboard data safety policy this place is very very important and you have to understand it very well i did a, a personal video now you can also do your data safety policy and also if you have your data uh, if you if the developer send you a data safety uh, policy file so you just click on import and import it if you have it 
If you don't have your data safety policy file, that means you have to set up your data safety all by yourself. So just follow this video. Let me teach you how you can also set up your data safety. So click on next here. So they ask you, does your app collect or share any required data? You click on yes. Even if your app doesn't collect any required data, you have to click on yes. So um, here now, the way is all your data collected is all your data is all of the user data collected by your app scripted in transit. You can even ignore that and save or click on more. And also, they ask you does your app collect password, username, anything? So my app doesn't transfer doesn't allow people to create accounts. You, you don't create accounts. So um, you come down and click next. Click next. So they ask you what does your app collect? So here now, what my app actually collects is, uh, you know, it's a SaaS server app. So it will collect photo and video, and also it will collect device ID, and also um, app activity sometimes, but not actually. You can leave it like that. You can leave the app activities, and also put again personal information, which is the app doesn't collect any personal information. So I guess you can use choose user ID here or and choose the app doesn't collect email. So that's it. So these are what the app collected. You can also choose more that will collect for anything you have collected there. So you have to create uh, app activities, app interaction. Let me use that and also. This are, this are the stuff. So click on next. So you have to set up everything that you choose here. So for the personal information, you click on uh, so collect and share. So come down here. Choose no. Choose yes. And also, I don't know if you are seeing what I'm doing. So here. Yeah. So now, come down. App functionality. Choose app functionality. And come down to uh, advertising and marketing analysis sometimes so choose it also and also here yeah, the same thing and app functionality so click on save and come down to the photo do same do same which is App functionality app analysis and advertising so save and also same thing here yeah. so all the thing that you all oh, what you choose so you have to do that Enough interaction. So and the last part which is device or IDs. So click on next. And click save. So go back to dashboard. We are done with that. Do that same thing. So go back to dashboard and click on government apps. So choose no. Your app is not a government app. So come down to 
financial features so just scroll down and click my app doesn't provide any financial features so save and go back to dashboard and we are done with that the next thing now is to select app category and also set up the store listing so now app category here yeah, you select your app category um I got produ production productivity anything so what i'm choosing here is productivity i click on save come down we ask for email address again We ask a phone number also. So here also we paste the website link. It's important you can use any website there, and you can also put your privacy policy link as a website link. So click on save. Now you you are done with the store listing and come back to dashboard so now we have to set up the store listing now the store listing is the description of the app and app icon app screenshot and all that that's what we are setting up on the store listing for us to do this now come to the short description you can put anything as the, uh, as the short description you can be more creative if you are doing this i'm just doing this for um learning purpose so uh, I can say something like save status easily and full description try it now easy to use So now come down here and put your app icon. So you can see your app icon must be 512 uh, pixel and um, by 512 pixels. So if your app icon is not like this, you have to go and you have to go and do it. You have to go and edit it. You go to image to go.com and edit it. So now let me upload my app icon here. Yeah. So this is the app icon. You can see uploaded. The feature graphics. Your figure your feature graphics should also be 1024 by 500. So I've already done that. So which is this? Done. So now your app screenshots can upload like three or four screenshots. So I'm uploading this these days. That's my app screenshot. Now uploading the same again here. You upload it in these two number one, this phone and the tablet. Ignore other ones. Ignore other tools. Ignore it. So we are done uploading the, the screenshots. So click on save. So now you can see our app icon is already updated. So go back to dashboard. You can see how our dashboard is showing now. So now come down to close testing. For us to test for you to test your app now. This way we are going to put it close testing. So now select region. You have to select region and countries. So click on add countries and region. Select all countries and territories. That is the first part, all countries and territories. So now click on save. Yeah, after this, it creates new release. You can select test as here if you have already if you 
app your testers already you can create email list and select testers but let's upload the app first before selecting testers so click on create new release so that creates new release choose this sign key this google sign key uh -huh. so now upload your aed file that's your aed file you can see this is my aed file there so let me upload it it might take a while for your aed file to be uploaded so let's just wait for it to be uploaded Under this um, release note, if you want your app, okay, so the thing, uh, the AAD has been updated now, uh, uploaded now. So if you want your, if you want your app to have a, if you, uh, like if you want to add something like a notification on, on Play Store, if people want to download the app on Play Store, they will still the newest update, like uh, you just added these features, you just added these features, or something like that, and you can follow. You, you can paste it here in your release notes here, but it's not compulsory. So you can leave it this thing, you can leave it like that. So click on next. You have already updated, uploaded the AAD file, which is the file you are uploading on Play Store. So click on next. So, okay, you have one error here, which is um, advertising, which is advertising ID. So click on complete advertising ID. So click on yes and come to app functionality, app analysis, and also choose, just leave it like that, app functionality and app analysis and save. Now we are done with this. So come back to your dashboard and go back to your close testing. So now, Click on edit release and click on next. So now click on save. Now go to publishing ID and uh, publishing, go to your publishing overview. Click on publishing overview. Next, next, go to publishing overview and send 11 review. I uh, send 11 for review. I send it, send these changes for review. Now, your changes is already under review. So, for app testing, so your app is under review already. So, Google we Google we uh, we review the app. So, for the app testing, you come to select testers here. Come to select testers here. Once Google review your app. You now come to select testers here and click on create email list. You get so you can now add all the emails here and separate them with comma. You get separate them. You can write any name at the top and separate the emails at the comma. Once you do that automatically, you have already had the 20 emails on your on your app. The 20 emails that Google mean here is not just you creating 20 emails, that is 20 device. 20 phones. So if you want me to uh, help you with the uh, close testing, you can message me on WhatsApp. Um, you see my number in the description below. Message me on WhatsApp if you want me to help you with the close testing um, with a little charge. You message me on WhatsApp. We, we are going to deliver it for you. So that's it. And get your app live for you. So that if you have any other question, you can drop me also a message or comment on the comment section and stay blessed guys so now here if your app is which you can see here now app is under review you have to wait for this app for this review to be done before you add close testing and you can also add close testing now and wait for the review to be done so that you can begin testing your app or you can begin testing your app if you are the one that is doing it by yourself so that's it if you have any other question you can drop so stay blessed guys